그런 너 해, 너 What is good, y'all? This is JV here, and today I got a reaction for you guys. Today we're getting into the new VIX release, The Closer. Happy Halloween, first and foremost. And I know they're going for another darker concept this time around, but if you're not familiar, uh, I'm actually a super huge fan of VIX's releases. Uh, I collect all their CDs. I've followed them since, you know, I, I was into K-pop. So I'm excited to, you know, see what their, their new release is. Uh, I've pretty much loved every single comeback that they've ever done. I haven't really been that disappointed by any of them. The last one was, you know, a little, eh, it wasn't that impressive. Uh, but other than that, their discography is incredibly strong. So I'm excited to see what they bring for us this time. So let's not waste any time. Let's get straight into it. Vix with the closer. Let's go. I'm assuming it's closer, not closer. But... Okay, Leo. He's got a nice groove to it. Not what I expected sound wise. What is that end? The visual techniques they use in their music videos are always like incredible. Is that Hongbin? Ooh, Robbie verse this early? Like that kind of like dropout thing in the instrumental there. Ooh, this is smooth. Okay. Prominent vocals, of course, that's you. There's the choreography. I knew they always got the sharpest choreography routines. Oh, wow, he's blind. Okay. They got like the military uniform joints on deck too. Very strong prominent vocals as usual. Love the groove in this section, the drums there arrangement. Strong uh, pre uh, vocal performance by M. And I like how they're breaking structure a little bit, having Robbie's, you know, verses, you know, sporadic through the song instead of like one centralized rap verse. And I'm assuming he did a lot of the writing as he usually does. But man, I, it's so, can't y'all see why they're my favorite boy group, man? Like, they're the concept kings, man. Nice electronic touch here, okay. They always go for very, you know, mature themes there in the concept. And I, I was a little hesitant because they've done dark concepts so much. And they, they just, I felt like they've just done so much. I was like, what else can they possibly do? But I like this. This got a maturity that something similar to like Eternity. It, it's not like straight up horror concept. Because I was assuming that's maybe where they were going considering there's a Halloween drop but. Okay, three Robbie verses. That's dope. Hey. Robbie is the king of t like having a beat and writing an incredibly like flow-wise complex kind of verse and just completely disregarding the beat and just going for it. And I can appreciate that, but it's always in pocket. But it's like flow-wise, it's always like super unpredictable. The freeze frame idea right there is really dope. And from my understanding, this is like the... They kind of were doing a trilogy, at least on the packaging. Uh, with the Hades release and all that, so... Starting with Dynamite. So I guess this is the co completion of that. Uh, absolutely loved this comeback. Uh, yo, Vix, man, they're the kings of... 
you know, consistency, but at a really, really high quality. Uh, the music video, of course, was super, super dope. Definitely something I see myself uh, revisiting. Uh, definitely one of the more engaging tracks that I've heard from them in a while, but y'all know how big of a, a starlight I am. Uh, definitely gonna cop this album and I'm excited to see uh, what the full album has in store for us and definitely look for an album review after a few listens that I can uh, get into it for sure. I'm uh, curious as to what your thoughts are on it. So in the comment section below, let me know what you thought about the song. What do you think about the music video? What are your thoughts on Bix as a whole? And how do you think this compares to their previous releases? Are you guys gonna cop the album? And if you have heard the album, what are your thoughts on it? Till next time, this is JV here. I love you guys. Bye.